hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how to make seafood soup if you love seafood and you love soup you will definitely love this recipe but before we get started let's take a quick look at the ingredients here i have some shrimp lobster tails mussels and dungeness crab legs i did lightly season this ahead of time and i'll be using here some carrots plantain sweet potatoes uh, cassava and edo root i also have some coconut milk here uh, thyme green onions habanero peppers i have pumpkin soup mix i have uh, okra corn yellow onions garlic butter black pepper and complete seasoning let's get started so here's how I prepped and seasoned my seafood. I washed them really well by scrubbing the shells and stuff because I will be using some of the shells. I cut the lobster tails in half and washed with lemon juice. Then I added some Old Bay seasoning and black pepper. Super simple. Seafood is one thing you never want to over season. So what I did was add the seasonings to the seafood, toss them really well and let them sit and marinate for about 20 to 30 minutes. In a large pot, I did add about two tablespoons of oil and now I'll add my onions, garlic and scallions. We'll let them saute for about three minutes. Next, we'll add our ground provisions, carrots and corn. Then we'll add our black pepper and complete seasoning. We'll also be adding our pumpkin soup mix here, but I will not be using the noodles in the packet, so I'll remove it with a strainer. Once we've got all that added, we'll let it go for about five minutes, just so the provisions can absorb all that seasoning and marry well before we start adding the rest of our ingredients. After five minutes, we'll now add some hot water here and we'll add our coconut milk. Everyone knows that coconut milk and seafood are a match made in heaven. It's absolutely delicious. If you have not yet tried it, please do so. Now, after we've added our liquids, you will give it a taste and make sure you season to your own liking. But don't forget that we season the seafood and once we add that, the soup will have a bit more taste and you don't want to over salt the soup. Now we will add our peppers and our thyme and we'll cover this and let it cook until the provisions are tender. Once our provisions are nice and tender and our soup has thickened a bit, we will now go ahead and add our seafood in here. Once we've added that, you know we can't have soup without some dumplings. So I'll add some dumplings here, then we'll add our okra. I can leave the link to the recipe for the dumplings down in the description box if you guys are interested. And we will let this cook for about 5 to 8 minutes. That's all you need. You don't want to overcook your seafood so you'll turn the heat down a bit to medium low and let this cook for 5 to 7 minutes and then we'll be ready to serve.
so finally we have come to the end of this delicious seafood soup guys the last thing we'll add here is our butter that will add some richness and creaminess to the soup and then we'll add some fresh green onions and that's it super simple and easy to make this and it's one of the best soups i have ever had i'm telling you guys everything just pairs really well in here the coconut milk that is off the chin you can taste that creaminess from the coconut milk and it pairs really well with the seafood and all those seasonings as well i really do hope you guys give this recipe a try now let's plate this up and let me show you guys the finished product okay guys so this is my version of a delicious seafood soup you could actually use any kind of seafood you like for this recipe it doesn't have to be the one that i'm using and i do hope you guys give this recipe a try if you enjoy my video please give it a thumbs up share it leave a comment down below and don't forget guys hit the subscribe button for me i will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and i'll see you guys in my next video have a good day and enjoy